Hi, it's Andy again, and uh, today I'm going to post two videos. Uh, first one is going to be using the navigation drawer. Um, I'm going to show you where you can get this source code. This one's straight from Google. Uh, I'm going to break it down. And then the video after that, um, I'm going to create a Action Bar Sherlock version of it so that you can use it on uh, older um, devices. And it looks fine. Because uh, the sample code that they gave you is actually only um, compatible with API 14 and up but there's no reason why without a little bit of modification you can you can't get it to work with action bar Sherlock um, navigation drawer is actually it's uh, drawer layout is the new um, layout and uh, it's part of the support library so if you haven't updated your support library or uh, development tools or anything like that since Google IO um, you're gonna want to do that uh, because otherwise you won't be able to find it or use this um, new API. So to get this sample code, um, the, I'll link the website. Uh, this is their example of breaking down how to use the drawer uh, layout. Here's their sample app. So you just click this and um, it creates a zip file that you extract and you can launch it. And if you want that uh, icon that's used, uh, you can just get it here. Um, it's also included in the sample app, so if you want to just drag it and drop it into your project, uh, that's probably the easier way to do it. So I'm going to break down their code and uh, show you what's going on. All right, so uh, first, let's go over their resources. They only use uh, three layout resources, and the meat and potatoes actually in the activity main. So this is your uh, new layout. It's called Drawer Layout. Um, you give it a name because we're going to be referencing it in uh, the main activity. And then you get a frame layout. This is going to be your content that you're going to display as your uh, main view. So if we look at it, uh, let's see. This is going to be your frame layout. Um, and then your list view over here is actually going to be the drawer. So this is going to be the list view. Uh, you can also get to that by clicking this and I'll show you where they implement that in the code. It's pretty pretty straightforward and easy to understand. So it's just two views. Um, you have one on top of the other. So this is going to be the behind one and this is going to be the, the main view. Um, and the way that uh, I use this later is I'm just going to put out a switch clause to, to swap these out. Um, they also have a, a drawer list item. So since they're using a, a list view, these are this is going to be each individual item on that list. So this is the layout. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, well, there's no text, so it's not going to show. But uh, that's each individual line here. So when we open it, this row here is one line. Um, and the reason why they do the, they can get the selected. This is actually a later API. Um, that's why I don't, I didn't include this part into my sample code. But you can find ways to do this in older versions of Android. Uh, there's nothing really special except that it's really, really easy to implement it in um, uh, newer versions of Android. That's all they do is set this Android background to with an attribute of activated background indicator. Um, and then later on in the Java code, uh, when you select an item, they, they change this to selected. So uh, I'll go over that. It's pretty simple to use and you can, you can do this as well. In, um, you, you have to create a, a drawable with a, a selector and a, item selected state and item click state and uh, it's not too difficult but it's uh, that that's why this requires a, a higher API that's one of the reasons so does this and so does this the text appearance but um, it creates a nice good looking list view so um, I can see why they they use that for their their sample Okay, so let's go back into, oh, the last item. This is a fragment that they used to uh, put in here. So like this is the frame layout, but this is actually what the, they're going to be displaying. It's an image view, and that's the only thing that's there. 
All right, so those are the views. And let me go over the, the Java code. Now there's only one actual um, activity file, like one class file. And the reason for it is because they put all their classes into one file. So you have this class, you have uh, later on drawer cl item click listener class, you have your fragment class. Um, you can split these up into your own um, classes here if you want. They just decided not to. Um, and the reason for that is it makes it easier when you're referencing um, the same thing in all, between these classes like the M drawer title and stuff like that. So you, it, it's pretty easy, straightforward to follow. Uh, we're setting the tile, title. So when we launch this, I don't know why the screen layout's so, so short. See how like um, it has Jupiter up here and it has Jupiter here. And when we open it, it has a different name. And then we switch it. It, has, it switches the name with the with the with the planet that's in view. Um, so the way that they do that is they they set this M title and M drawer title. Uh, these are just char sequences. So that they're just initially initializing that. And uh, also they set up their uh, array string array of the planets in their uh, values. So. If you go here into the strings folder you'll see that here's the string array it's named planets array and you just put in items so it's pretty easy uh, later strings that they're also going to reference is this drawer open and drawer close um, so let's see we're going to go back so that's the array that they're using for the planets that also is the array that they use to generate the list and the title so they use one array for everything um, the drawer layout we're gonna call the find the view by ID and then named it drawer layout in mine I just named it drawer uh, the drawer list is your list view so they initialize the list view and then uh, they also created a shadow so I'll show you what that does is when you it's kind of hard to see on their example because the background is black but uh, when they pull out the drawer, see how it kind of darkens? That's the shadow that they're uh, talking about here. So it's set draw, drawer shadow. Um, and there, you have to have um, where it starts from. And uh, it's built into the animation. So when you look into this into the, in the Android code, it actually has the animation built in, which is actually really nice. And it's backwards compatible, so you don't actually have to do anything here to make it compatible with action bar Sherlock which is fantastic it's part of the support library um, <clears throat> so then we got to set an adapter for our list and uh, it's a basically a, a standard array adapter which they're calling the, the list since the each list item is kind of sort of custom it's not the standard uh, android.r.layout.simple list item underscore one um, that we've they've created their own just uh, drawer list item um, and also uh, this is a string array that they're using for the planets so they call that as well and then we need to set an on click listener um, the way that they do it um, is by or on item click listener so that when you click on the items in the list it actually does something um, they created a whole new class and separated it and put it in there. Um, I'll reference that. I'll show you where they did that later. It's one of the ones I highlighted just a little bit ago. Uh, and then you need the action bar. So this is an API um, associated with 11. So it's a honeycomb and up API. Uh, but you can use this in um, action bar Sherlock. You just change this to get support action bar. Uh, and you have to change your activity to Sherlock fragment activity, but I'll show you that in the next video So set display home as up as enabled and set home button enabled and both of these are true and this allows us to use the, the home but the this button here to open and close the drawer 
uh, and it makes it do something. As you can see, there's an animation too with the icon here that kind of goes off the screen, which is kind of neat. Um, that also, I'm not sure if that works with Action Bar Show. I'll have to double check it in the next video. Um, I remember it not working on my laptop when I tried doing it earlier, but I, I haven't tried it with um, this version, which I changed a few things. So next thing we need to do is set this drawer toggle, which is actually an action bar drawer toggle. This is actually part of the support library, so it doesn't matter if it's included in action bar show lock or not. It works previously with, uh, with uh, older versions of Android, regardless of um, the action bar show lock library being updated or not, which is really good. This is why this can still work in um, older devices without having to need an update. So uh, here we go. So it requires a few variables. So we need to know what the context is. So that's this activity that we're using right now. We need the layout. So we have mDrawer layout. We need to set an icon. Well, you don't have to set an icon, but if you want to set a custom icon, which, um, which is the, the new icon that gets animated here, that's this. We, uh, we reference it here. And um, we have a string for opening and closing the drawer. And then, so when we do, uh, we have two different uh, methods that we have to call uh, on drawer closed and on drawer open. And they're very similar. The only difference is this title that happens. Um, and then, uh, so. Yeah, so we are changing it, the title when it's open. So we have this M drawer title. That's actually uh, why it's different when we open the drawer. Oh, that's so annoying. So when we open the drawer, it changes from Mercury to navigation drawer example. So that's what we're doing right here. And then um, this actually is not compatible with Action Bar Sherlock because it's an API 11 but there is a support and validate options menu. So um, we'll go over that in the next video as well. So we need to then set the drawer listener, which is this M drawer toggle. And then um, if the saved instance state is null, we need to have an item and uh, I'll show you where this select item is. It's later on. Okay, so then we have our options menu which they use um, a search button so that uh, when you launch it, let's say we're on Mercury, it has a search button icon. When we launch that, it launches a web search for Mercury. Um, I have mine doing something else, so I'll show you what I do there. And then uh, that set and validate options menu, it calls us on prepare options menu. And uh, so I actually didn't use this in uh, my action bar Sherlock code, but um, you can use it if you want. Uh, I'll probably add it before the next video to see if there's any different behavior first. And then uh, we have our, our menu item. So we have two menu items, but this isn't compatible. This isn't compatible with uh, the support library. So this is another thing that we I had to find a, a workaround for, and I'll show you that in the action bar Sherlock version of it but basically there's a real easy uh, toggle and what this the, our on options item selected it it's uh, built into this toggle that uh, when you click it it automatically checks to see if the drawer is open or closed and if it's open it closes it if it's closed it opens it so that's why we get this little right here that's when we click it that's what we're we're doing and then this is the code that they put in for the web search for each individual item. Okay, so then we have another class, which is the on click on item click listener for the list view. Um, uh, I have a, a, this part is actually similar, but the select item I have is different for um, this since I, I created five individual fragments that uh, have their own independent views since that might be more useful. Um, this, since they all have the same view, um, I mean, I could have done it with that, but it shows you how the code to do it if you want to have separate views. Um, 
So since they all have the same view of an image view, they it, this is just a, a simple uh, way of doing their um, finding the position that's selected. So that's why they have position here. And then uh, they're bundling uh, some information, uh, which is an imager of uh, the planet number. And it's going to be put in the named in position. And then they're setting the argument. So then they call that later um, with the um, the fragment manager is actually going to be replacing the fragment with the position that's in there. So um, it's going to get the the position that you've selected and swap out the the planet that's there. So that's I'll show you a, a simpler way of doing it. It's a little bit longer code-wise, but it's probably going to be more practical for you. Where I just put it, I swapped out a switch clause here. Uh, which will work if you know uh, exactly how many items you're going to have in your list. Um, so hopefully that's going to be a little bit more useful to you. Then we have the set title. So once you've selected the item, it changes the, the title of the action bar to uh, whatever item you've selected. And uh, this I, I was also able to implement into the action bar Sherlock version of this. Uh, app. Now a few other things that you have to do is since you, you're using this uh, drawer layout you have to use you have to call on post create and then uh, sync the state and also you have to do on configuration changed uh, you have to call these these are backwards compatible so you can just copy this over um, this isn't uh, uh, this doesn't require new APIs so here's the planet fragment. I swapped this out with um, with uh, individual fragment classes. So uh, this is the actual switching that sets the image view with the planet number. Um, so you have that bundle that was passed on. So when you click an item, it passes a bundle, which is an integer. So then you have to get that integer, find out what integer it is, and then swap out the image for the correct um, uh, bundle uh, and that's what they do here so there's image view uh, set image resource by the planet which is all part of this uh, this bundle all right so um, I changed this out I didn't use this type of fragment uh, but this is uh, this is how it's done if you want to set it up this way it's uh, not too hard, and it it works pretty pretty quickly actually. It's nice, uh, smooth on the emulator. But unfortunately, this exact version isn't backwards compatible, like I've said. So um, that's why I've created uh, an action bar Sherlock version uh, for you guys. All right, hope this helps.